Hey guys, it's Fulton Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today, I am going to open a box of the 2008-2009 MVP Hockey Hobby Box. Uh, so that's nice, Iggy's on the cover of it, which is kind of cool. Uh, what does MVP have? Well, MVP is typically now the first release of the year, although I'm not sure what it was in 2008-9. Um, uh, uh, but it has 24 packs per box, 8 cards per pack, and the key rookies you'd be looking for in this year would actually be Stamkos, Shen, uh, Wheeler, uh, TJ Oshie, Dowdy, uh, a couple of others, I think Mason as well. And uh, the rookies are inserted one of two packs, so that's the good news. The other good news is that they're typically one out of 24. In other words, within one hobby box, you would get a two-on-two -two jerseys. The one-on-one -on -one autographs are inserted one of 288, so those are a little bit less likely. Then there's some other parallels and gold scripts and so super scripts, stuff like that, which I think they might have begun this particular year, this particular uh, season, not sure. I know I did open up a box from 2007, 2008, and it was a little bit old school. So let's open these up. Let's see what we get in the box of, uh, hobby box of MVP. The benefit of MVP is it's a low-end product, really sort of hard stock um, cards. In other words, you, they can enter some wear and tear. Uh, they're really for the younger kids uh, who can destroy the cards because the cards don't have much value. And as I said, the, the rookies are inserted one or two packs, so they're pretty common which is a good thing because it means you can collect them. It's a bad thing in the sense if you, if you care about value. But as a rule, I wouldn't care too much about value unless you throw a lot of money into cards, uh, which you shouldn't pop do unless you have the budget to do so. Um, let's open it up. Let's see what we get. And here is the Hockey Hoppy box. There's a seal right here, so we'll have to open up the seal as well. I'll try to keep this video to 20 minutes if I can, which is... I, I like meditating on the cards uh, and doing a proper break as opposed to uh, just jamming through everything. So let's see what we get. Nice. So four, so we got two deep uh, and um, two, two across. And these are actually golden looking packs. So that's kind of nice. It's a very clean look for these particular packs. Uh, we'd be wanting a Dowdy and we would, would be wanting a Stammer. Uh, I'm not sure if there's redemptions. I don't believe there are redemptions. We can check the back of the box for that. Uh, it would have the odds on here if I could somehow scooch a look. Can you see that? It basically says the 2 on 2, 1 on 24. Uh, they're numbered, there's just gold scripts to 100. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get this done. Okay, first pack of the day. Here we go. Hopefully they're not too stuck together. And you have Yuri Hoodler, Andrew Cogliano. These are nice looking cards. I like them. I like the sort of blue teal look to them. And we have our first rookie, and our first rookie is Adam Party. Okay. Now we're going to have to really jetpack through these, as this will be a lot of packs to open here. And we, of course, are looking for the Steven Stamkos. That's that's the hot, that's the baby we want. There's Vinny Le Cavalier, Havlet, Chris Pronger, Sajak, Pavel Datsuk, Justin Williams, and our rookie is Vladimir uh, Vladimir Mihalik, which is probably an easier rookie to get. Uh, for a decent price in the other types if you buy yourself some SPXs and so on. It would probably be an affordable rookie uh, if you buy a moderate, uh, medium, mid-range box. Paul Stastny, and you see they're all silver scripts essentially. Unless I miss something, there might be a gold script at some point in time. Now we have a first line Phenom, and it's Thomas Vanek. So that's our insert. Uh, I don't know whether the golds, if there are some golds, whether they're going to look uh, much different. Let's continue. It seems like the inserts are always the last pack, so that's something to keep in mind. There's Carey Price. There's Pricer, who's now pricey. Uh, Zach Freezy. Boucher. And we have, speaking of Carey Price... We have a Magnificent Seven, 
and it's when Price blanked the Bruins in, in 08. Uh, I can quickly look up the checklist for the uh, Magnificent Sevens. Uh, they would be, uh, it'd be a checklist of only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. And the other ones in this particular subset are Cam Ward, Guy Lafleur, Mar Marty Brodeur, Pat Lafontaine, uh, Turk Broda, if you can believe that, old school Turk Broda who played for the Leafs, and Wayne Gretzky. I do have, I, I've been wanting to get actually, I do have some Turk Broda cards, but I've been wanting to get his one of his deemed rookie cards from the 1940s, uh, one where he dives across the crease. You can look it up at probably 1940, 41. Trophy loophole. Tim Thomas. Very thick stock. These are actually pretty nice. The design's pretty clean for, uh, for these guys. Sometimes they're not as clean. And we have an, an Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great card. I have never gotten an Alexander the Great card, so now I have an Alexander the Great card. I do have OV cards, but not that particular one, which is a known insert from this particular uh, year. Josh Harding. Craig Rive. Darcy Tucker, Ray Whitney. Frolov, Sakura. And we have a marked by Valor of Rick Nash. And the Mark by Valor cards are, let me just see, there are 15 in that particular subset, including Joe Sackick, uh, including Sidney Crosby, Brad Richards, Sergei um, Fedorov, even, um, even Peter Forsberg's in that particular subset. The other subsets that we could, we could get, uh, the Alexander the Great subset is all OVs, and there's eight various cards of the OV, so that's what that subset's all about. Um, it's the subset devoted entirely to OV, uh, which is kind of cool. Probably not that difficult to... Uh... And here we have a rookie of Tim Ramhold. So we got a couple of rookies going here. Uh, thus far, none of the big names. Ideally, we would like to hit something akin to a Stammer uh, or a TJ Oshie for that matter. It doesn't really matter. These these cards don't have much value. This box is probably under $30 at this point, maybe even on sale for less. So that's the benefit of uh, buying MVP. They're thick stock. You can't really destroy them. And even if you do, they don't have much value. And we did get the Drew Doughty. Yay. We got Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty, who is one of the best... Uh, rookies of his era um, he's still putting up big numbers with the kings he's a stanley cup champion so he's a made man uh you gotta love him so that that was probably the one i actually wanted just as much as stammer but that just says more about me that i like defensemen as i was a goalie growing up and new bowl and then we have another rookie and it is paul bissonnette paul bissonnette so we see the rookies, I guess, are one or two, and then the other times we get the um, we get the inserts. So each second pack we get a rookie. Second pack we we build upon our uh, subset of um, of inserts, and there's multiple subsets as I mentioned. Clarkson, Jason Spezza. Hopefully these are in focus. There's Sergey. Kutstitsen, who wasn't with the Habs that long, La Barbara, and we have another rookie, and it's a Leaf, and it's Nikolai Kulamin. So we've gotten Leaf Nikolai Kulamin, uh, which is very, very cool. 44th pick overall. I like that. I like the fact that they put the draft picks on the back. So if you look quickly at some of these, 130, we see the importance of how well these guys, so Drew Doughty's second pick overall um, is why he's such a well-known guy he was picked second overall but it's good that's a good thing to put on the back of rookie cards to actually put their draft position uh, then you can see whether they're underachieving or overachieving like that David de Dernay on the Montreal Canadiens of the Montreal Canadiens now Rangers I guess or he's been moving around a lot he was undrafted and he put up 61 points in the NHL at some point you've got guys like Alexandre Degg who were first overall and never put up more than 60 points never he put up more as much if not more than than a uh, first overall, so you can see the how undrafted players do some good stuff. So this appears to be our first uh, gold script. 
it's written gold script on the side. It, it is gold. And what they do often is they have the gold is also denoted by the red. And it's Adrian Oquin. So this is our first gold script. Uh, I, I believe they might have introduced the gold scripts in this particular year, but I'm not 100%. And we have a first line phenom, and it is Johnny Taves, Jonathan Taves. So we've got two first line phenoms of, at this point. So building these subsets is probably would not be too difficult given the fact that the amount of cards that you get in each hobby box at the price point you get. Um, as I've said before in opening these types of cards, you can probably build the master set without too, too much difficulty. And there's Marty Bruder. And when I say master set, I mean the base set, uh, the rookie class set, uh, and all the subsets. The subsets, like one of the OV, uh, Alexander the Greats, are eight cards. It's probably easy to collect all eight of those cards. Another marked by Valor, and we have Cam Ward. I'm going to have to start really flying through these at this point, given uh, how many cards we're getting. There's Bill Kessel, David Fran, and we have another uh, first line phenom, and it's Andre Kostitsin of the Habs. Cool. So I'll add that to our. Now I don't know this one's blue. Whether this it being blue is just because it's the Habs, or whether that is uh, a separate situation. Uh, they they definitely do have some parallels that I should probably take note of, um, but I'm not a hundred percent certain of what is what at this point. There's Peter Budai, there's Gary Lettinen, uh, who I believe is with the uh, Dallas now. Confused them, but there's Boris Valabek, who's another rookie. Uh, so right now we're looking for Stammer. Uh, I think Claude Giroux might have been a rookie, the rookie in this particular uh, prop as well. If I'm mistaken, just let me know. I'm often mistaken. There's Tuka Rask, Matt Sundin, Jason Blake, Milan Lucic, there's Eric Cole, and we have another rookie, and the rookie would be Ryan Jones. Ryan Jones, okay. Building out the rookies fairly nicely. Um, for $30, you can't really go wrong with this particular product because there's a lot of interest. It takes a while to open up all the packs. Uh, you know, you're going to hit a lot of big name players, even if it's just within the base cards. And there's there's Alexei Kovalev. And also, I mean, for a lot of collectors, old school collectors and kids and stuff who keep track of stats, uh, look at this. I got one of the uh, MVP Magnificent 7s and I got the Gila Fleur card. I like it, I love this. We got the flower. So we've gotten a bunch of Canadians actually. We've gotten, right now with the Magnificent 7s, we've hit both the Gila Fleur, which is a, which is a 1979 uh, card. Well, it's, it's a 2008 card, but it's, it, the, the image is back, goes back to 27, 2000, um, 1979. Yeah, but I'm, I'm big on I'm big on base cards uh, because no one else is, I guess. But I think it's fun to collect the base cards and to get a sense of the stats and the different players of the different teams. And we have another uh, rookie card. We got Luke Shen's rookie card, so that's nice. So a couple of tips of the hat to your Toronto Maple Leafs. I probably have another, I don't know, eight packs left, or six or something. So let's see how quickly we could jolt through these. There's Danny Heatley. Jonathan Chichu. Andre Kutstitsen, David Legwand, there's Cristobal Ue, who had a stint with the Capitals, also played on the Habs and the Blackhawks, and we have another rookie card, and our rookie card is John uh, Filwich. I think it's Filwich, Filwich. Okay. Let's see if we can get a few more Magnificent Sevens. Patrick Eliash. There's Guillaume Latendresse. Lake Como. There's Ryan Getzlaff. He's a monster of a hockey player. And we have Vincent Le Cavalier as a Marked of Valor. So well, we should put that in the Marked of Valor uh, subset group. And welcome to this one, Phil Thick. 
Something tells me there's something going on in this pack. It feels so thick. Have we seen inserts? We haven't even seen inserts, have we? I mean, not like dividers or uh, dummies? Yeah, there's something. No, it's just, uh, speaking of which, it's one of those dummies. Okay. Chris Higgins, Malkin, Daniel Alfredson. Try to get these bad boys to focus a bit. Come on, baby. Focus. And we have another Alexander the Great. And another Alexander the Great. First hundred million man, dollar man. So that's what he's renowned for, making money. Uh, four packs left. Uh, we should get something uh, thick at some point in time that isn't just a filler, uh, hopefully. Uh, I wouldn't mind a stammer, but I'm cool with the Dowdy, uh, one or the other. There's Andre Markov. Thomas Caberle, and we got another mark by Valor, and we got the Sidney Crosby. Sid the kid, Sidney the kidney. Excellent. This feels thick. Maybe, they'll, maybe they all feel thick. What do I know? I don't know what's thick and what's thin anymore. I've lost track. Okay. Let's see. Do we have a... Something special in here. We do have something special in here, so I'll hold off on that pack. Imagine if we got two big hits right at the end. How cool would that be? Wish we back in I know. Okay, so yeah, this has a blank in it. So Joe Pavelski, Small Joe is supposed to be, but there's Shea Weber, Philpola, Sergei Zubov, Joe Sakic, San Gagne, Sharp. And we have another rookie, and the rookie would be Lori Cor uh, Korpikoski. Yep, Lori Korpikoski. Not easy for me to say, I guess. I'm doing what I can. And our last pack. Uh, not sure whether it's an insert or a rookie card. Looks to be an insert. And then we will open up uh, the hit, whatever the hit might be. Not sure what it is. It's probably a jersey card. Would be my best guess. There's Plex. There's Jose Theodore. I've only got one gold script, which is kind of funny, or not funny, maybe it's hilarious. Mike Fisher, Sergey. oh, here's another gold script, and it's numbered. Oh, they're both numbered, actually, and it's Chris Pronger. Oh, that's very cool. So we got a Chris Pronger, and it's numbered 48 to 100. I didn't realize they're both numbered by definition. And then we finally, our last card is a First Line Phenoms of Patrick Kane. Okay, one last pack here. This pack has the hit, and then we blaze over to our recap to get our video done by 20 minutes. Uh, so let's see what we got. It looks green. Is it Dallas? I don't know. But we definitely have something here. So it's a two-on-two, two, it looks to be. And it would be the Wild. So it's Marion Gabrick. And is that Miko Koivu? Yeah, it's Miko Koivu. And we have a rookie behind it. The rookie would be Zach Fitzgerald. So, and then on this side, hmm, we have a Joe Sackick in Milan Hejuk. So we have a two on two jerseys of Marion Gabrick and Mika Koivu. And on the back side of it, boom, we have a Joe Sackick and a Milan Hejuk. Not bad. Okay, so quick recap, recap in the last minute here. Uh, we got a stack, a stack, a stack, a stack of base cards. Um, we got uh, four for, uh, first line phenoms. We got two Alexander the Greats. We got, what else did we get? We got four Mark by Valor including Sidney Crosby and uh, Rick Nash. Uh, we've got four rookies, not four rookies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 rookies because there's 24 packs. So it would be one every second pack. Um, and the rookies include Luke Shane, Luke Shen, um, Kuhlman, uh, but Drew Doughty is really our big rookie hit, as nice as that is. Uh, we've got these two Guy Lafleur's and 
carry price magnificent seven so we got a nod to our halves we have two gold scripts one's chris pronger the other one is adrian o'quin and they are both numbered to a hundred so 172 of 100, the other one's 48 of 100. And then finally, we got our Mika Koivu, Marion Gabrick, Joe Sakic, and Milan Heyduk. Heyduk, I can never say his name properly. Um, and I would happen to be Fulton Cards, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. <laughs>